Hello everyone, Nikki here with a Sunday School story. I will be reading Jonah chapters 1 through 4. When God called Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh to tell other people that there was that God was angry with him with them, Jonah didn't want to do it. He got in, onto a boat going the other direction instead. But then the sea rose up and a great storm scared all the sailors. As it raged on, the sailors began to suspect that Jonah was the cause of their trouble. They asked him, Who are you? Where do you come from? Why has the storm come upon us? And he told them, I am a Hebrew. I worship the God who made all the sea and the dry land. You should throw me into the sea. I've disobeyed my God, and this storm has risen up because of me. The other sailors were scared to throw Jonah in. But they did what he asked, and the storm stopped right away. And under those calm waters, God sent a big fish to swallow Jonah up. Jonah stayed in the belly of the fish for three days. From that fish's belly, Jonah prayed to God. He said, I call to you when I am in trouble, and you answer me. I call out from these depths, and I know you hear my prayer. Then God told the fish, that's enough. Deliver Jonah to the dry land. Again, God told Jonah to go and share God's message with Nineveh. And this time Jonah did it. He walked across that large city crying. They had 40 days to change their ways. He warned of destruction to come if they continued in ways that weren't God's ways. But they did change. They listened to Jonah and every person and animal turned to God dedicating themselves to goodness. <laughs> God saw the change and celebrated, but Jonah was angry. He pouted and yelled at God. I knew this would happen. You made me come here to warn them to turn to you, and they did, so now everything will be fine. I knew you were full of grace and mercy and would not really harm them. Why did I even have to come? God asked Jonah, is it right for you to be angry about this? You just showed up here. But this is a long-standing city full of people and animals too. Don't you know what I that I care for everyone in it? And with that story, I have some questions for you guys. What is surprising about this story? How how did Jonah struggle to listen to God? What might Jonah have resist? Why might Jonah have resisted to God asking him to do? Sometimes our idea of what's best for us are different from what God tells us in the Bible. Why is this? When you have resisted following what you knew God wanted you to do, what happened? When you've gotten into a scary situation and you need God's help to find your way out of it, what have you done? Now let us pray. God of all of us, sometimes we are scared when you call on us. Remind us that you are always with us. Remind us that your care stretches over us and all people and all the animals and all creation. Help us to trust in that and to celebrate it. Amen. Okay, guys. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you have any other questions, you guys can talk amongst yourselves. Thank you, guys. Evie says, Evie says thank you, and Dinah says thank you. Remember, wash your hands, practice social distancing, wear a mask, and stay safe. God loves you, and I will see you guys later.